what is the change in GPE, gravitational potential energy, for a 10 kilogram object which is raised from an initial height of one meter above the floor to a final height of 10 meters above the floor? So let's take a moment, we'll draw a picture as always to orient ourselves. So here's the floor, and the floor is zero meters. So we have an object, let's make it a baseball, or better yet, a football. So here's the football, I'll draw some laces, you get the idea. And this football is lifted up in this direction. So I'll draw a football again, try and duplicate that. And this is the initial height, this is the final height. In order to do that we'd have to lift a, with a force of mg, you'll see why in a second. And we'll label, or let's take a look. That football has a mass of 10 kgs. And the initial height is 1 meter. The final height is 10 meters. So we'll label. So what is the change in gravitational potential energy? So the change in, we'll put a delta symbol, change in GPA is equal to its mass, which is known, times gravity, which is known, times the change in height. Now we can eyeball this. It goes from 1 to 10, so that would be a positive 9. But another way of writing a change in height I'll just rewrite the entire equation, change in GPE is m times g times the change in height, that would be hf minus hi, the final height minus the initial. So the change in GPE, now we can sub in numbers, will be its mass, 10 kgs, times gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared, times the change in height, HF, we're running out of room, so I'll just do the computation without putting the numbers in. HF is 10, minus one is nine meters. So if we do look at this from a unit standpoint, we end up with kgs times meters per second squared times meters, which if we did meters times meters, it's gonna give us meters squared and this is joules, kilograms and meters squared per second squared, or joules. So 10 times 9.8 times 9 is the answer, and the units are joules. And we can reveal the tab. 10 times 9.8 times 9 is 882 joules. So this object would have 882 joules of work done on it as you lift it up. And if it were to fall back through the same height, it would end up with 882 joules when it reached the one meter mark. If it continued to fall, it would gain more and more energy because what's being done on it? Work. Work is being done on this. Nice work.